that for someone who wants to build a skincare routine and you're working with a tight budget and you actually want to have good skin this is a step in the right direction <laughs> Welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's your girl Wafai with a double I, and this is Wafai Living. I'm a skincare enthusiast. On this channel, I do like skincare review. Like I said, I'm a skincare enthusiast, so I kind of review products, products I've used. I give my take on them. I give you tips on how to generally even approach your skincare, like terms for you to be uh, aware of in the skincare community. That's like the long and short of what I do here. And from time to time, which I've not done before, <laughs> I'll be posting like try on hauls and probably vlogs from time to time but for today i'm going to be sharing with you guys affordable skincare products that you can start your journey with like i said in my previous video if you haven't watched that video where i talked about um the basics to navigate the skincare journey especially for beginners or people who have been in the skincare journey but really not knowing what they are doing i'll leave the link up there so if you click you can watch the video i also leave the link in the info box below i did say the basic steps that you should use so i thought it was only only right for me to show you um, affordable products that fall into that basic step so that for someone who wants to build a skincare routine and you're working with a tight budget this is a step in the right direction you are not going overboard like you're not breaking the bank but you're also just actually taking care of us your skin because guys you need to take care of your skin it's not for only people who are bougie everybody needs to take care of their skin okay okay let's get right into it so um in no particular order i'm going to just be saying the product no particular order not not like i'm saying i'm not listing them based on how you should use them i'm just listing them for you to have i think number one on my list this is actually my current face wash i hope you can see it i'm currently not using my front camera so i don't know if it's focusing but i hope it is the first product i'm going to be telling you guys about is the simple micellar facial gel wash this is what it looks like i also leave a picture of it on the screen so that you can see what it looks like in case you want to buy this is a gel wash i personally use it because if you don't know i have an acne prone combination skin so sometimes things that are in form of gels are better for us <laughs> that's like the best way i can put it like yeah uh, moisturizers that are gel like or in a gel form are good for us so that because i mean because we're acne prone we don't need products that will be heavy and then you know either strip our skin or now make our skin clogged so this gel wash is 25 253k they're about like 2500 and 3k I'll, I'll leave the equivalent in dollars as well on the screen that's like how much it costs so it's not is 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 data money is the money you use and do mtn data that you use and do this thing and this cleanser i recommend with my full chest and it's like like i said 2500 3000 there about um yeah. next on my list would be the nivea perfect and radiant micellar water i'm going to leave the product here i haven't used it but i know a lot of people that scan it and i don't even know why I, personally there's just something i'm with me and nivea nivea I don't know what the thing is, but there's a thing that I don't know, but somehow there's just a thing. I find it hard to reach out to that product to pick on the counter, like when I'm going to buy skincare or anything, I find it pretty difficult to just reach out to that product. I don't know why, no bow, nothing, but I've had plenty good reviews about them. This micellar water is really dope, I mean it can serve as a makeup remover and it can also serve as a toner. So check that out it's like two thousand naira two five thereabouts it's not above two five no matter how expensive the store is it's not above two five so it's pretty affordable it will help you to do the work and you can continue with it next on my list is simple i hope you can see it again i'm using my back camera so i don't really know if it's focusing properly but this is the uh, simple triple protect moisturizer SPF 30. Well, I said it's simple, they are lifesavers. If you are going to get a sunblock, sunscreen, SPF, it should be at least from SPF 30 because that's the SPF that can at least protect you from the sun. This one sells for, I think, somewhere between two, 3,000 naira to 4,000. It's not above 4,000 naira. I don't, I don't think it is. It's not above 4,000 naira. It's easy for you to get. It serves its purpose. There are bougie sunscreen out there, but this one is affordable, it won't break your neck and it will save you from turning to Akara roasted. If you don't know what Akara is, 
Nigerian people will tell you but it will save you from turning into that next on my list is this product I'm going to still leave it up there so that you can see this is the simple replenishing rich moisturizer it gives 12 hours moisturization this product this moisturizer is really good I think I just changed my moisturizer like a few days ago a few weeks ago and um, prior to then this is like the only moisturizer I've been using it's really good it's really really good it helps to keep moisture on your skin it helps to just do its job you know and it's pretty affordable I think this product is like from two five two five to three thousand naira thereabouts that's what this product costs it serves well it's like 125 ml so it takes some time I, I think personally I use it for when I'm the only one using it I use it for like four months really good it does the job is affordable it will save you the next product I'm going to be recommending is the altruist <laughs> I hope I didn't butcher that word word the altruist dermatologist SPF 50 sunscreen that's a nice sunscreen it's pretty affordable compared to the rest somewhat and it's good i've seen great reviews of it i haven't personally used it i've been eyeing the spray one because i think i need a spray sunscreen it sells for i think four five to five five guys i know i wanted a list where the products the most expensive is like 4k but there are a few sunscreens that can't really be around that price but they are great but they are uh, affordable compared to sunscreens like prices of other sunscreens so yeah you guys <laughs> this list is filled with a lot of the simple products the next on my list after the ultras is this simple you can see it i hope you can see it is the simple soothing facial toner it's 100 percent alcohol free i was using this toner not until i got my new stash yeah it's pretty simple it's lightweight it just goes on the face and it keeps your face hydrated well enough you know it serves its purpose it's a great way to start a skincare especially if you're on a budget because it does not break the bank and at the same time you know that you are doing the right thing so yeah i recommend it like 200 ml it's quite some amount again i think if you use it morning and evening um this product should last you for two months depending on how heavy you are on your products i will recommend it it's great it does the job it sells for about it doesn't go over i think three five it doesn't go over three five when i say it doesn't go over it means no matter how expensive the shop is or something it doesn't go over three five that's a good product next product on my list is going to be the nivea perfect and radiant even tone spf 15 it's a day cream but it has spf 15 in it it's good for your body I would recommend it for your face because you need at least SPF 30 like I said it's good for your body it's good to have some form of protection on your body I've seen good reviews about it that's a great product it's about one 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 five one thousand five hundred naira around that cap yeah that's what it sells for and I've seen good, good reviews about it so I would recommend next on my list is this one this one this one this one I hope you can see it this product is the simple hydrating cleansing oil guys there's something called double cleansing right um so double cleansing is where you use oil based cleanser first of all on your face especially if your face has makeup and build up then you now use water based cleanser afterwards to like you know just make sure your face is clean for me there are many oil based cleansers out there but this is the one i use because it's like the most affordable one i have seen it sells for i think 6k 7.5 6k 6.5 thereabouts it does the job for me it strips off makeup mascara everything bobo yeah, yeah. it strips it off literally it does the job and i like it i like it very much i've been using it for some time i mean i know that i don't do so much makeup so again with my differ it's like 125 ml is this size right i've been using it for some time and this is just what i've used out of it i recommend it the price is a bit above the 55 cap i was trying to work with but it's great it does the job compared to other um, oil based cleansers i don't know personally i have a thing for using um products that are 
I don't want to say handmade, but like product made by Nigerians. Um, somehow, I, I still have a thing. I've not fully gotten myself to that place where I trust Nigerian products. I'm sorry, but I've not gotten to that place. I know a, a few brands that are pretty good that I've been putting on my list to try, but I haven't just gone ahead to try them. So when I do, I probably will update this list and put on some Nigerian brands that are relatively affordable because <laughs> i don't know that i've seen any nigerian product that is up to is as low as thousand naira. i don't know if i've seen but i will probably will do an update later with brands in nigeria but for now these are the products that i um have used and you can find them they are easy to find i think that's also one of the things they are easy to find but when I do try my hands on those products, I'll definitely leave a review. Come to the end of this video. Like I said, I only would recommend things that I either have used or people who I trust, I've seen them use it and I've seen that, oh, okay, it was good. Before I, I will not just recommend something that will go and burn you. Before you say, what I said, I did not say that one. These are the things that I've recommended. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. Please don't forget to subscribe. Click the subscribe bell if you've not subscribed please and also do feel free to watch other videos down give me thumbs up guys click subscribe bell click the subscribe button and then turn on your notifications if you want to see videos like this um, concerning affordable skincare but to your skin type please let me know in the comment section also let me know if um, you have any questions any concerns just let me know to the best of my ability and my uh, let's say experience the things i've experienced i will give you feedback based on that let me know the type of videos you would like to see the type of things you like me to review for you if there are things that won't damage my skin i'll definitely look at buying them or using them so that i can review them but if they damage my skin I ain't gonna do it. Please don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Share this video with people who might need it. You might be saving someone's life. Um, until next video. Bye, guys.